Ever pondered over the significance of rules and regulations in air travel? Imagine a sky filled with aircraft, all moving without any guiding principles. Chaos, right? That's where the International Civil Aviation Organization's Annex 2, also known as Rules of the Air, steps in. This critical document lays the groundwork for a standardized framework ensuring the safe and orderly operation of aircraft globally. At its heart, Annex 2 is about principles. General principles that set the tone for the conduct of aircraft operations in airspace and at airports. It's these principles that vest responsibility in the pilot in command, underline the importance of compliance with air traffic control instructions, and advocate for adherence to established procedures and regulations. One of the fundamental elements Annex 2 outlines is the flight rules. These rules, which apply to different phases of flight, include visual flight rules and instrument flight rules. Whether it's about airspace classification, altitude requirements, or communication procedures, these flight rules have it covered. Another key aspect Annex 2 delves into is air traffic rules. These rules are the guardians of safe and efficient air traffic management. They encompass separation requirements, traffic flow management, and coordination between air traffic control units, all geared towards maintaining safe distances between aircraft and ensuring orderly movement within controlled airspace and airports. But what about navigation and communications? Annex 2 has that covered too. It lays out requirements related to aircraft navigation and communication equipment, from the use of radio communication to navigation aids and surveillance systems. The document outlines standards and specifications for equipment installation, operation and maintenance, all to support safe and effective air navigation. Emergencies and abnormal situations are, unfortunately, part and parcel of flight operations. Annex 2 includes provisions for handling these unexpected situations. It outlines procedures for declaring emergencies, requesting assistance, and executing emergency maneuvers, all with a singular goal, the safety of passengers, crew, and the aircraft. Last but not least, Annex 2 addresses rules and procedures for aircraft operations at airports and aerodromes. From taxiing to takeoff, landing, and ground movement, it specifies requirements for runway operations, traffic patterns, and runway incursion prevention, all to minimize the risk of accidents and incidents on the ground. In essence, ICO Annex 2 is a guiding light in the aviation world, promoting safety and efficiency by establishing standardized rules and procedures for aircraft operations. By adhering to these standards and recommended practices, Member states can ensure the safe and orderly conduct of flights within their airspace and at their airports, contributing to the overall safety and integrity of the global aviation system. In conclusion, Annex 2 is more than just a set of rules. It's a blueprint for safe and efficient air travel. It's the bedrock upon which the safety and integrity of the global aviation system rest. It's the difference between chaos and order, the line between the unthinkable and the routine, and it's these rules of the air that make every takeoff and landing a testament to the marvel of human ingenuity and cooperation.